Hello, in this Python programming tutorial, we are going to take a look at parsing an XML file. So I've got an example XML file that I've created here, which has a root node called vehicles, and inside it has car tags, and then it has a attribute. You can have more than one attribute, and you can have more, you know, nested tags, elements, but you know, just to keep it simple, and just to demonstrate how to parse XML files, for I just you know just keep it small. Once you understand the basics of what we do in this video, everything should be okay. And then you know, within car, we got a model element, and I have just some information and a speed element as well. So let's get started with this. And okay, so the. Uh, happens sometimes for me I need to reopen the file if that happens just reopen it okay so here we go and so now we're gonna first of all import the xml.sax module what you might come across online is if you've looked at other guides or tutorials is people using basically external modules not like something that's built into python and yet there are other great you know code files that you can get to help you pass files and you know some are really really amazing but you, you can do quite a lot with the built-in stuff as well okay so we're basically going to create a class that will handle all of the xml loading so we're going to call it xml handler so it's appropriately named in here we have xml.sax.contenthandler and now we're going to define a method and this is going to a speedy init method again if you don't quite understand what we're doing with a class and then like this method we've already covered it within the class classes section of this series so feel free to go back and check that out so self again with the self keyword as well we've already explained that so first of all we're going to self that current data and this will allow us just to store the current data that we're processing when passing through the file. And that will then be assigned to one of these variables. So we've got self to speed, I mean self to model, self to speed. Obviously, if you have more attributes, more tags, you can easily just extend this as you need to. So now we're going to do def start element. So this is, you know, when the element, you know, first begins. Self tag attributes. And we're going to self dot current data. And the data is going to equal tag. And if the tag is equal to car, then we're going to process accordingly which is basically you know these here obviously again if you have different types different names you can easily modify this code accordingly so what we're going to do is just print out we are going to print just this out call just so we know we've got like a new element now we're going to create a variable called name and assign it to attributes name so we, we're going to get the name from here and we need a quotation mark to end it and now we're going to do print name name and we are going to print that out so, okay so that's the start element method done crazy indentation and now we're going to do end element now end element self tag and now what we're going to do is if self dot current data equals model so this is going to allow us to actually go through the tags within each of the you know basically each sub tag so if it equals model then we're going to do something accordingly we're just going to print something out saying you know this is the model but you can obviously change this up and add more functionality call methods that sort of stuff 
going to say model self dot model now we're going to basically do is else if so if it's equals current data equals speed we are going to do print speed and now we're going to do self dot speed like so and then finally once we have finished with the check-in we're just going to set the current data back to an empty string so we don't get any issues at all so we do that and now what we're going to do is create another method we're going to add a bunch of you know empty lines so we're going to do def and we call characters so when a character is actually detected in your file this will be called and now we are going to do if self dot current data equals model I'm missing a code right here self dot model equals the content so we're just getting in and applying it to this now um, that should be called that as well missed that out it's good that I scrolled up then just to show you so now elif self dot current yeah that's right I was looking at this and this I was sort of getting confused with that elif self I was not something wrong no it's okay it looks okay to me equals speed print speed no sorry we did that the top of it self dot speed equals content not minus content equals content that's it for the methods now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do if underscore name equals underscore main underscore underscore so this is just going to basically allow us to check for the file and we're going to do parser we're going to load the file and then parser dot equals xml dot sax underscore dot make dot make underscore parser all good stuff now we are going to set the feature so feature xml dot sax dot handler dot feature underscore namespaces comma zero and now we are going to do handler equals xml handler so now that we actually created an object of it now we are going to do parser dot set content handler and i'm going to set it to this so these are just some default stuff that you'll need to have in there and now finally we are going to load the file to parse so parser dot parse and let's specify the location so XML. For me, the location is in the same directory as this Python file. If it isn't, then make sure you adjust the directory accordingly. Save that, and now let's run. So hopefully, you should pass the file and print everything out, and that's it. So all of that code for this. Obviously, if we were to extend this, I'll show you that right now. So if I were to copy that and change this to for home, so that's my name. Model is the same. Give my surname. And the speed I will put at my current age is 26. So you can see that doesn't exist here. But if I were to run it, it gets that as well. So it is that simple to pass files, and you can extend this class as you need to and provide the appropriate functionality depending on your application's needs. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome Python video.